My conviction. You don't know me, but I've found you. It wasn't easy, seeing how you've never met. But her words were persuasive. Once I tracked you down, I went back to her, but she was gone. All I found in the debris was an address, which I've enclosed. I'm going to make sure she's all right. If there's any part of you that cares for your daughter, you'll come too. Signed, R. Price. Private investigator. Right, well, this is it. The Isle Tide Hotel. I'm looking for a young girl. <laughs> Which one? You're not the first to ask, mind you. I had some cretin in the cab this morning asking about some girl. Couldn't have had an invite, though, because I saw him sneaking round the back. That's who paid your fare. Anyway, best of luck finding her. Are you, um, hey. Uh, never mind. Just, uh...
welcome back to the Isle Tide Hotel. If only for our final night. I trust you had a pleasant term, Miss Ray. Um... My apologies. I mistook you for somebody else. How may I help you? I'm looking for someone. It's rather difficult to keep track of those frequenting the Isle Tide. May I inquire as to whom? Just... someone I used to know. Should you have your eye on a particular patron, though? Measuring ceremony begins shortly. If I could just see your invitation, sir. is our top priority here at the Altide. I cannot permit you to enter, but I'll be sure to keep an eye out. Going in, or I take it the receptionist wasn't very friendly. <laughs> Something about him. Mm. Otherwise, you'd be in there, right? <laughs> Unless you're thinking it over. I mean, I'm Christopher. Looking for someone. Well, she's a lot older now. You mean she's in there? Yeah. Oh. Well, sorry, it's just, well, you don't get an invite if everything's okay. I'm here for my daughter, too. Oh, she, she's not inside it. It's me. I, I don't want her growing up with a dad like this. Anxious. <laughs> Seems like you really care about her. I do. And this place can really change you. Whether that's a good thing or... <clears throat> but, uh, I can help you at least. Get you in if we went together. I don't get a good feeling about this place. You should leave. <laughs> I knew. I did. I just... couldn't say it to myself. <clears throat> this isn't me. You can keep my invite. Uh, 
I have an invitation. Easy, sweetie. I'll cast my eye over this. I take it Christopher left us. Shame. He was a good fit. Well, I'm afraid you can't just take his invitation and expect for a seat, sweetie. This is a curated exhibition and I am said curator. That said, you know not all. Fine, but I'll have to put you through the review. You'll be following me speedily. Nice suit. Thanks. Oh, don't mind that, sweetie. That's just in case I find your answers ghastly. <sighs> Shall we begin? Do you have any scars? Any tattoos? No. Do you own a baseball cap? <laughs> no. You're late for class. Your father drops you off. He never says goodbye. The halls of the school are empty. You open the door. Everyone laughs. You're naked. Do you sit down? Yes. You follow a bully home from school. The alleyway is dark. You pick up a metal pipe. The house to the left is burning. You run inside. A child, a cat, and their mother are in separate rooms. Who do you say? The bully. You can't save someone you've already murdered, sweetie. Unless... You're after redemption. Perhaps you are worth exploring. Stand speedily. Arms up, sweetie. Let me measure you. Oh, well, do you wish to participate or not? We need to start the exhibition, and if you don't wish to... What kind of exhibition is this? Only the world's greatest, sweetie. There's nothing more exquisite than the human form. Human form is exquisite. But the world and her wife wish to change it, fill it, fake it. Pity. It is only when we're different we realize what we had. I create all the experiences at Isle Tide. A clear vision, varied, so they find their true core. But lower my core sheet. I just want to find my chameleon. Somebody who can wear them all to perfection. I'll get one ready for you. Go wait in the bar and I'll summon you through shortly. Off with you, speedily. Notice them. Have you never looked up during the swell celebration? Um. <clears throat> Which is why the balloon should be gold this term. But red is traditional. You said that already. But red is customary. Or customary to have, always have someone else take the credit. 
We need to try something new. What do you think, dear? If no one notices, perhaps you should try the gold. There's a girl well, here. Perhaps actually. I'm no longer needed. Some old relic. to do this without you. I'm stuck for choice. I'm swayed towards the white lace, but I wore that last term and nothing changed. What didn't change? And they failed again to nominate me. Who wore it best? This sounds exciting. Well, it's not for everybody. Any rules? You choose a mask, and then on the swell, you wear something that suits. Who wore it best wins. And you want to be nominated? You're nobody if you're not at my end. You seem to know a lot about what goes on here. You should be careful when choosing how people see you as everything. And here, you can be anybody. A chance to become those you envy and for a tide, forget yourself entirely. People call me Dee. That's not my real name, you understand. It's just that... Well... Hardly matters when all keys go into a bowl. Am I right? I prefer to know. Learned that the hard way. I'm Josh. Beauty isn't the ambition. It's the tool. You may not be swayed by it, but many are. I didn't mean to. No faster way to see your name and lights. I came here to be somebody beautiful. Somebody new. I never focused on finding the core like everybody else, and now it seems that I've lost my own. It's always hard when you lose something. A pageant, let's say, but passion is doing whatever it takes to get it back. Am I right? I do anything. Then maybe you're the one I've been looking for. It would be terrible for me to ask someone to nominate me for the pageant. But if they did, you would help them in return? Who knows how grateful I'd be. Hi. 
I was wondering... I've tried to warn him. They can't be changed. Or cheated. The receptionist reminds us all with a single look. Except that man at the bar, it seems. I didn't stick around to find out why this time. I best go find her. She'll be looking for me. My wife. by means of fulfillment. Don't mistake his patience for absence. His timing is perfect and his presence is constant. The tide is upon you. Where is room 14? Join me for the changing of the tide. Seeking person with an open mind to peel back the layers and find the core. Room 7, 8 p.m. Rosie. To all who think the core is sex, all genders welcome. Room 18. For lovers of literacy and language, I, Jordan Hemlock, am starting a petition to change the terminology of the etiquettes Ergo, come find me and sign. You realize Dr. Aniston could be anybody. I wonder if he's here. 
I've got no closer to finding the core this tide. Waste of a suit? You'll move then, Paul. You're not Paul. I'll still be Paul. Forgive about me. I'll be others, some other poor bastard's problem soon. You're here to see me, no doubt? Yes. I'm Jordan Hemlock. <laughs> I'm not surprised you've heard. They chatter in their boxes. You see, I've spent more time alone this term and began to ponder the word term. Horrid sounding. Ergo, I've created a petition for the grand elect to change the terminology. What do you think of the word span? So how was your span? Ah, I knew I could count on you. You remind me of myself before I Slip this on. <laughs> Actions speak louder than words can be spoken, as the saying is. Right. And these uh, grand elect, they choose who come here, do they? Invitation only. Oh, they ramble on about their inclusiveness, but all I can see in these etiquettes are rules to keep out those they deem unsavory. But, should we call for a hearing at the measuring in front of all the verse, ergo, they'd have to consider it without the benefit of a bow. Uh, they don't have to listen to me. There are rules in place to stop that, too. Rules can be broken. Oh, if only. Unless, like the democracy of America, you scratch my back, and then you can demand a favor later. <sighs> right. I mean... And I would guarantee it. Anything you want. Good afternoon, sweeties. Tonight's measuring is underway. 
So if you could adorn your robes, masks, and follow me speedily, the grand elect await. Sorry, I am. Um... I should at least pretend to know that you were coming. Sit, if you're attracted to the prospect. I was skeptical too. But after 212 predictions, my conversion rate improved significantly over the term. My return on investment only began when I decided to believe. The Queen of Wands wants to show herself. You are seeking something. Or someone. A girl. And even if you don't believe, there are 78 cards with infinite shuffle combinations, so who's to say that you weren't supposed to see that sequence? I haven't finished my hand over yet, so... Choose one and let's see. <gasps> Interesting. By the end of this swell night, you will have to make a choice. Which is the right choice? The one you feel will gain the greatest return. Was there something about a girl? Anything? Thanks. You don't know me, but I found you. That's what I wrote in the letter. I'm Price. <laughs> Your Price? What did you expect? Oh, jeez. Bet right. myself a bottle of Bushmills you wouldn't show. <sighs> Heard you were never around. And people don't change. So figured it an easy bet. It's those who do, you have to watch out for. So why are you here? I'm here for Eleanor. What, well, have some newfound fatherhood? Or looking to make yeah, a... Yeah, I came, didn't I? That makes no difference. Well, why did you write the letter? In case something happens to me, at least someone would know where she is. So have you found her? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Save you the trouble, Christ. Hey, you don't know what happened. I know she could barely crawl when you walked out. Missed every step she ever took. But I guess you taught her one valuable lesson. You can't rely on anyone. Well, if you want to find Eleanor, you'll have to change. The guests are getting together downstairs, dressed in these. I'm gonna get one, go down there and find out who has her. And if you don't show, I won't be surprised. Doubt she would either. What 
yours do for a living? Accountant. Boring. London-based, so the commute's a nightmare. You can settle down next time. Do you sweat much? <laughs> Got newfound respect, mind you. Didn't get promoted once. Bloody bunch of tossers. I told you so. And you said I was whining. I hope you learned something. Yeah. It's never subtle. It's obvious where they're looking. Right here. <laughs> Oh, oh sorry. sorry. Looking forward to making some new friends. It's been a lonely term. Don't pick me. There you are. I've been looking for you. The pageant's this way. Come. They're taking nominations Three, now. Come, sweeties. Last chance to enter somebody into this year's Who Wore It Best pageant. Any final nominees? You said you'd do anything. Nominate me and I'll repay the favour. We have a deal. Am I right? Congratulations, sweetie. Tell me, how can I help you? Name? My name? Well, yes, sweetie. I need a name. I thought you could use his. It must be the participants. How else will we know? An initial, then. I need your name, sweetie. That's not an etiquette. No, it's a rule. Which are still quite important. The ceremony shall begin soon, and if you can't provide a name... I don't remember. I'll write D, for now. But we will need a full name. And if I can't remember... You can't very well win without a name to place on the plaque, sweetie. Perhaps there's somebody who can help you? Now, everybody, speedily, take your seats. The grand elect approach. You don't know me, but I found you. It's got you in my love. Stop shaking like a teenager's wrist. Guessing these aren't your average guests. There's a lot of them. Not sure on their choice of room, though. What's up with you? Just nervous. We'll find her. That's what I'm nervous about. I'm not sure how to explain to her where I've been all these years. Grapes are not harvested from thorn trees, nor are figs scattered from thistles, for they yield no fruit. Peel comes before the fruit to protect it, but that shall not be so on the swell. Just as the great ocean has one taste, the taste of salt, so too shall this tide, the taste of life. 
to reach the fruits, we must first cut away the peel. Simul yestis e picato. Good afternoon, Verse. Nice to see our body. Hope you all had a lovely time. If you're new or would like a reminding, the nine chapter etiquettes can be found in your rooms or on the notice board in the lobby. It is my pleasure to introduce the grand elect. We are who we say we are. Praise be to Dr. Aniston, founder of the Tide and seeker of the core. Praise. 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 First we have taken the measure of each other. Now comes the fitting. Bring forth the new verse. has declined. Oh. Still, there are those here yet to join. Tonight is the swell. Tonight alone shall new suits be added. Before we embark, does anybody wish to shed guilt for the term? Last term. I practiced as the priest. I found it hard. I confess, I... I turned to drink. And I, uh... I got a tattoo. Etiquette 7 has been broken. To impart manners, your choice of suits for the coming term shall be halved. Forgive me. You are already forgiven. I committed a crime on the previous term, which verse 37 was arrested for. Etiquette 4 has been broken. To impart manners, your suit shall be chosen for you. You are already forgiven. I too wish to shed. The whispers you have heard of a young girl are true. Chosen by Dr. Aniston himself. For this deviation of etiquettes, she will be presented to all at tonight's swell celebrations. A hearing for all. Until such time, we shall proceed from the measure to the fitting. <laughs> 